in both the King James and the Geneva Bible originally had the Apocrypha in it. And the Catholics still today have the Apocrypha in their Bible. One of the few things the Catholics have done right is they did not throw these books out. You see, me growing up in the Baptist, um, uh, in the Baptist world, we're taught, hey, there are only 66 books in the Bible, and if you think there are more, you are wrong. You are uh, in error. You are an apostate. You know, there are only 66 books in the Bible, and they drill that into your head. And really, um, all throughout Christianity, whether it be Eastern Orthodox or Ca Roman Catholics or all kinds of uh, uh, Ethiopian Orthodox, all, all kinds of different sects of, of Christianity out there have a number of different books. And I think it's Ethiopian Orthodox that have the most, like 81 books in the Bible or something like that. Uh, you'll need to do their own research on that. But, um, uh, folks, there are other books of the Bible out there that are modern Christian era, even in the beginning of this country. We're in our Bibles, like the Geneva Bible and in the, uh, King James. These books used to and did exist. We have taken them out of modern Christianity. And so why did we do that? I don't know. You need do your own research on that, and, and that's not what this video is about anyway. So uh, I, I do recommend uh, this book, uh, or, or I do recommend getting the, the version of the Apocrypha, whether it be in your original King James or Geneva, or just you can go out on Amazon and, and find a copy of the Apocrypha with those books that were originally in your Bible uh, at the time this country was founded, um, and so you need to be familiar with those. And we're approaching uh, the time of Hanukkah. Uh, I, I'll have a different blog post or video on that, um, uh, but that is included in the book of Maccabees, which is included in the Apocrypha. So, again, another reason why you should study that. That is important stuff. Uh